don't really know how to start this because it could be started at multiple points. I bet you all have been wondering, what is going on with Mackenzie's life? Well, I am here to answer all of your questions. Let's get started. What's going on? I don't know. Question number two, where am I now? St. Louis. Question three, well, maybe I should just get into all this. I'm gonna start back a teeny, a teeny, weeny, weeny bit. I got an internship and I was working at Disneyland and then that failed because Corona came. So I moved back home and I was going to start working at home except quarantine happened and I didn't really wanna get my family sick because I was living with them because I couldn't live on my own. So I thought, well, shoot, should I just stay here and not make any money or should I go somewhere else and try to make money? So I decided to go somewhere else and try to pick up another job. I went to DC and I know you're probably thinking, why? That's kind of far away. Why there? Well, it's because I have a sister who lives there. So I went and lived with her. DC was amazing, but I couldn't quite get off the ground there. I was applying to tons of jobs. It was really hard to find entry level jobs and just jobs for people who just graduated. So the moment came when I thought, you know what, maybe I'm shooting too high. Maybe I just need to get like a, a regular down to earth job and then wait out the storm. And so I applied to Sally Beauty Supplies or Salon, however it goes. It was going great. And then the lady that I was interviewing with was like, okay, we're gonna send you an email. Uh, so fill that out and come back in. I was like, great, never got the email. So I told her about it. And she said that their corporate office said they had sent the email and because policy, they couldn't send it again. I mean, okay. So it was about around that time that I was like, you know, maybe things aren't meant to work out for me in DC because nothing's really clicking. Sure enough, one of my other sisters decides to get a job and she gets one in St. Louis. Great, I've missed home, which is Kansas City and my friends there and my church and my family and just everything. So I thought, well, shoot, St. Louis is like three hours away from home and I'm not getting anywhere here in DC. And you know, I'm sure St. Louis is a nice place. So I decided to pack up again and move to St. Louis. So now I'm here and I've been looking for a job and I've been here a total of like two and a half weeks and I get this job that's a pizza delivery job mind you I have sent out dozens of resumes even more so and you know for every like I don't even know what the the statistic is it's probably like you know for every hundred jobs you look at you probably only apply to like five because you fit the categories or you know it's probably even less Applying for jobs is a headache. Anyway, so I looked at a bunch of jobs because there's a, a bunch of good like corporations in the area, but again, they don't have internships, entry level jobs or jobs for postgrads, or if they do on the off chance that they do, it's for some field that I'm just entirely is, is foreign to me. Things that I have absolutely no background in and no business being there. And so I went in, we talked, he told me like in general, what is what the work was gonna look like, hours, pay, all of that. And then he said, we're gonna send you an email and then we need you to fill that out. And I was like, great. Um, so this last weekend happened, my life was pretty busy for a little bit um, and I didn't hear back from them. So I was confused. So I was checking my emails, nothing was coming through in text. And then yesterday, Last evening, someone called me and I never hardly ever check my like phone calls. Um, but I was like, oh, this was a FaceTime. Who did I miss with a FaceTime? So I was scrolling through my history and then I saw that I had a voicemail from the company, but I didn't save like the name to the number. So it was just a random number. And I realized that it was from Pizza Hut because in the little description of the voice memo and they're like, Hey, like if you could come in on Wednesday, which is today, 
uh, and like take some training uh, let's get you started kind of a thing cool I tried to call them but the store was closed so I was like hmm, that's weird but okay because it was only like you know eight at night but so I waited till this morning about 11 ish and so I called and it said I'm so we're sorry uh, the store is closed right now um, please call something something locations for inf further information or something and I was like well that's weird maybe they're going out to the bank to get money because sometimes that happens so I rechecked the voicemail and then it said please complete like uh, some work we're gonna send you in an email and then come in to do your training like I had to complete the email stuff before I went in for training which was today at four so I was like crap I gotta like do all this paperwork before I go in. So I was like furiously searching my email for paperwork and I couldn't find any. So I was like, okay, well I really need to call them because I don't have this paperwork and I'm supposed to come in at four today, but I also haven't confirmed that with anyone. And I feel really bad about not getting this voicemail because the voicemail was like, like two, three days old. <laughs> so, so I kept trying to get a hold of them. And then, and then I listened really carefully to the automated tone that was talking every time I called the store and it by now it was like you know 11 10 11 20 someone should have been in the store because they open at 10 30. I called it again and it was like we are sorry this location has closed and I had interpreted it as is closed and I thought it meant like is closed for now but it's actually this location this store location has closed and I was like wait do they mean that this store just went out of business. So naturally I went to their location and maps and it was there and everything was fine. I was like, okay, sometimes if locations are closed, it takes a while for them to update everything. So then I clicked on their actual website and I looked that up. Sure enough, the location had closed. So that's kind of where I'm at currently in my life. And surprisingly, I'm not panicking. I feel like this is just all too coincidental. You know, like there's coincidences, but then there's things that happen where you're just like, this is too much of a coincidence. So basically I'm at the point right now where I, I want to feel sorry for myself. <laughs> like the human part of me wants to be like, well, like why is everything so hard? But really, honestly, like I feel like I have too much faith for that so I'm not worried but um it's currently where I'm at right now in my life just kind of wandering you get it anyway thanks for listening